Hey guys, day 20 of the Venus retrograde of 2022, and we are literally halfway there. Actually, that might not be totally literal because I think this Venus retrograde might stretch along, uh, you know, the date, how date lines are. It might technically be like 21 or 22 days, but, um, but we're about halfway there and I'm really proud of all of us. Um, today is a really great day for reflection. We're in the middle of this 40-day period where the entire universe is primed to help us heal and change our relationships, especially with women and feminine energy, mothers, you know, and beauty. So these are things that everybody deals with. Uh, everybody has relationships, even if it's just your relationship with your own self. Everybody has dealt with women and the feminine energy, even if it's just that you have a mother. Guess what? Everyone literally was born to a woman. So there's energy there that has to be dealt with. And um, beauty is something, again, that we all deal with. If you have a physical body, beauty is of a concern to you, whether it's that you want beauty in other people around you, you want more beauty in yourself. These are all big, big questions, big, big energies that we're dealing with. And we're halfway through this Venus retrograde. So how are you feeling? What has changed in your relationships? What has changed in your inner world relating to feminine energy? And what has changed in your relationship to beauty? And what still needs to change? We're halfway through and that went pretty quick and the next half is gonna go quick too. Today is a great day to set some further intentions on how you want the rest of Venus retrograde to go for you. So um, we've talked about intentions earlier this week and planting the seeds with the new moon on January the 2nd. Um, any, anything else that you want to add? Anything specific um, to relationships, feminine energy, motherhood, yourself as a mother, your relationship with your own mother, or yourself as a father would count as well, um, your relationship with parents and parenting, um, relationships to beauty and physical fitness will fit into this whole situation as well. Um, so go ahead and just take some time today to really think about this. Um, what changes have you already noticed and what changes do you hope to continue noticing? Let's go ahead and tap. Go ahead and tap, tap, tap on your forehead or collarbone and say out loud, I am choosing clarity on the changes I've experienced during this Venus retrograde. I am allowed to show grace for myself and others during this time. I choose healing and peace during this next 20 days. Okay, put your hands on your heart and breathe that in. We are choosing healing and peace during this next 20 days. We are choosing into clarity on the changes we've already experienced and um, choosing clarity on the upcoming changes that we're going to experience. And we're, we're going into this intentionally, which is what I'm so glad about this whole series for. Like, I'm so glad that we're doing this together because it's giving us this chance to be really intentional about how we want things to go. We're using our agency to choose um, what we want to notice, what we want to change and how we want things to go. So, um, so think about that. And just really quick, I'll share a quick story um, from my own life. Some things that I've noticed, um, I have definitely noticed some changes in myself as a mother and in my relationships with my kids. Um, I have been um, noticing a difference in my relationship with my own physical body and like physical fitness where um, I kind of had gone in a lapse of exercising. Like I hadn't exercised in a while and then I injured my ankle, which was this whole other story. And now I finally feel like, okay, I feel good. I can start giving my muscles what they want. Now I can be practical about my own physical body care again, which is all Venus retro or sorry, Venus energy is going to deal with physical body care. So for me, I've been really feeling it in those areas. Um, and we're all just going to be different. And so how have you been feeling it in the different areas of your life? And if you want to share in the comments, you can, you don't have to. If you want to join the conversation about it on Facebook, you can come join us at um, Intuitive Healing with Ali Duzette on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. Um, and either way, I'm just so proud of you for being, being conscious during this journey. And I hope that you can really see this personal growth that you've been going through. Even if it's been hard, I hope you can look back and say, no, I am growing. I am learning. I am healing. I am changing. And I'm using my agency to do it. 
um, because you are. And I, I just think you're doing amazing and I'm really proud of you. So thank you for being here. We're halfway through. High five to us. Hooray. We're rocking it. Ah, yay. Have a good day, guys.